Hey everybody, I'm back with some Michael Jordan PSA graded from my set registry. I was able to find the other box that was locked up. Uh, these are all Jordans. There's about, I don't know, 85, 90 cards here. There are a few BGS, majority's PSA. Uh, there are a few BGS. The rookies aren't in this one because uh, I did not go into the safe, but I did want to go over these and uh, put it up because everybody loves Michael Jordan graded stuff and uh, there's some cool ones in here along with some doubles from uh, what we did the other night. So, let's move over to here and show you guys some PSA Michael Jordans. I don't even know what's in here. I haven't looked in here for a while. 1990 Fleer All-Stars. Nine on that one. A mint nine on the Jordan All-Stars from 90 Fleer. 92 Fleer on the base card with a 9. This is the regular card. We had the league leaders in the uh, one we did the other night. This is the regular card. 9 on that one. We did have this card the other night, although I think the grade might be the same. I, typic I typically don't sell this card because it's just it brings back memories, and I just, I just love that card. 93 Stadium Club Beam Team, a 7 on that one. I need to get myself the uh, members only being team. I don't think I have that one. Maybe I could trade some of my other Jordans or sell some of them and sell some of them and uh, buy buy the members only one because I don't have that one. This one's cool. This is 94 Pro Cards Birmingham Barons. That was the uh, White Sox minor league team there. Got an 8 on that one. We did some of these the other night. I can't remember what the electric diamond was, but this is a 9. On the electric diamond, 94 upper deck, nine ball. We didn't have this one the other night. Just a cool uh, number P2 from the Playoff Heroes, 94 SP Championship. I just had a few of these boxes recently. I sold a couple. I think I might have kept one. Uh, these were a fun rip back when they came out. Pretty cheap boxes, too. So that is a nine on that one. Here is an insert from 93 Fleer. Sharp Shooter Michael Jordan. Nine on that one. Nine on the Sharp Shooter from 93 Fleer. And a nine on this next one. Also an insert. This is from 95 Ultra. Double Trouble. Double Trouble. Nine on the insert there. I think we did some of these. I just, I like, I have boatloads of these type of things, so I'm not sure, but they're in here. So, 89 Fleer, 8.5 on that one. Uh, it's always interesting to me. I know Beckett's always done the half grades, but when PSA does it, they do it very sparingly. And sometimes you look at the card for an hour and you can't figure out what what made them not quite give it a nine, but think that it's better than an eight. It's it's tough to figure out when they give those half grades. So eight and a half on that one. 95 SP, great looking card right there on the sky high flying dunk. Got a nine. A lot of Jordan's cards are number 23 throughout all the years. There was a lot that wore card number 23. This one here is the Italian version. Italian version from 91 Upper Deck International. I'm not sure. It doesn't sell for a lot, I don't think. So there must be a good bit of them out there. Um, but it's not one that you see as often as you see uh, on the regular one. But that one got a 9. Uh, again, we had a bunch of these the other night. 1990 Fleer. I have all grades on this one. This is a 9 here. Now, this card's awesome. I was a big fan of this. Brings back a lot of memories. And uh, I love the first day issues from back in the day Stadium Club. First day issue frequent flyer card. Number 181 from 93 Stadium. A nine on that one. That is a cool card. That's the frequent flyer, not the base card, but a first day issue on that one. Sometimes people ask me about the card uh, moving around. It's pretty standard in a PSA case. As long as you aren't, you know, banging it around, you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Um, it's it's hard for them to, you know, get the uh, case exactly size without also messing up the corners and then when they do put a soft sleeve in there sometimes but it just depends on, on what card it is if it's a die cut or whatever but uh, but yeah it's pretty standard that they're going to move around a little bit just don't be tossing them around too much and you won't have any problems 
Awesome card here as well. Only an eight, but I love the insert. You know, a lot of this stuff just brings me back to when I was, you know, 15 opening this stuff. I mean, I, this, I was 15 years old when this came out. And I certainly was opening cards still at that point um, and going to the national and doing shows and all that. So um, it brings back the memories of like opening these out of packs. 95 hoops, power palette. Pretty cool card there. And it got an eight on that one. Again, I have all these in my Jordan registry. I showed a video the other night with about 75 cards. All these except the BGS ones are in my registry, unless there's like doubles of some. But all the ones that you only see one of, I have them already loaded into my Jordan registry. There's actually a bunch of registries on there. I have the master set and the basic set and then the Fleer set or whatever. So anyway, 97 Bowman's Best. This is an 8 on the Best Performers. Pretty cool card here. Uh, I mean, he's dunking a, in a lot of his uh, pictures, um, but you know, it's always a nice, nice card when they catch it in uh, certain views like that. And uh, this is uh, also a Metal Universe, pretty popular card with the uh, precious gems and all that. So, championship in uh, Metal Universe uh, got an eight, obviously. Card number twenty-three again from a ninety-five SP championship. This is an eight. So if you're wondering why I have some 8s and 7s and stuff in here, I'm not like a super collector by any means. I'm not like looking for this card in a higher grade. What happens is I have thousands of Jordan cards and occasionally I'll go through them and send 20 or 30 of them in, get them slabbed, thinking they have shots at 9s or 10s. Sometimes they come back 8s and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, I'm still going to keep them. I just, uh, I'm not going to be out there, you know, looking to, you know, have the highest set registry of, uh, of Jordan's and all that but i do uh that's why you see there's you know eights and stuff i'm not like trying to upgrade them but if it's what i got it's what i got uh and i sent i would say i sent in myself 90 percent or better of what you've seen on both jordan videos there's only a few that i probably bought along the way and very few um with that so uh players club nine from the 95 collector's choice number 45 which is interesting they uh made him number 45 um obviously he wore that number as well so card number 45 there that's the players club silver edition nine here we go with another eight and a half this is the base card from 93 stadium 8.5 on that one and the way i'm showing them here i mean you probably can't tell any any flaws or anything you know in this quick angle without you know looking at them up close and stuff and i'm not bothering to do so myself on most of them unless like this one has some white at the top you know but i've already looked at them when i got them back however many years ago or whatever and uh analyzed them and i'm sure some i agreed with and some i didn't but i'm not uh on camera they probably all look you know pretty flawless without examining them you know they, they probably all look nice 8.5 on the 98 ovation that is a die cut card obviously in a black border so Tougher one there, eight five. Cool card here, throwback ninety six SPX record breaker, Hall of View die cut. You got an eight, cool card there. You can see the uh, the hollow die cut. So that one is in a soft sleeve inside there. You got an eight on that one. Another one from that set, and another Hall of View. This one got a nine, though. This is the Hall of View Heroes. Sweet card right there. Also in a soft sleeve on the die cut. Got a nine on that one. Another die cut card here with a nine. This is 98 SP Authentic First Class. 98 SP Authentic First Class. Jordan 9. Braden. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing, bud? I'm in the shower. Okay, I'm making this video. I'll be done in a few. Okay. 93 Finest. Card number one. We did have one of these, I think, yesterday and uh, or in the other video that I did. And uh, I think it might have been a nine also, but I usually don't sell this card, even if I had 20 of them. Uh, I have the Refractor as well, and it's just an iconic card, in my opinion. It's the first year of Finest. Uh, awesome picture. And just a cool card all together. Uh, I love the 93 Finest set. Penny Hardaway, Chris, Chris Weber, and those guys and the rookies. And then Jordan in card number one. 
And one thing I never actually do is go back and look to see if any of these are worth resubmitting. I'm not one of those guys that uh, that resubmits or cracks or does anything like that. So, you know, once I get a card, it's it's staying in there. Unless it's like a five or something, and I'm like, what the heck? But if it's an eight or nine or whatever, I, I don't think I've ever cracked a nine out and sent it back in trying to get a ten or anything like that. There's people that do that for a living, but uh, but it's just not my thing. I, too tedious for me. Nothing I've gotten the habit of ever doing. So this card is very special to me because um, it's got both of my dudes on it. And uh, it could go in either one of my registries and uh, either one of my videos if I'm probably going to do a Penny Hardaway one. But this one, there's a few cards that I have that have Jordan and Penny both on them. And they're my favorite cards because uh, those are my two favorite players along with uh, Kobe. And uh, those are those are my guys. So when I have Jordan and Penny on the same card, it's pretty sweet. It's only got an eight, but it is a die cut. It does have Matumbo and Damon. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, not Matumbo. Wait. Sean Kemp and Damon Stoudemire. From the angle, it looked like Matumbo, but I'm reading it at the top now. It is uh, not Matumbo. Sean Kemp, Damon Stoudemire, Penny Hardaway, and Michael Jordan on the SPX Force die cut from 96 SPX Force. And it got an eight. Sweet card, though. I think we had some of these the other night, and again, here's a 9 from 89 Hoops All-Star card with the 9. 98 SP Top Prospects, 5 Beta Jordan, 9 on that one. I believe that's a set of all Jordan stuff, or there's a mini set in there or something. I can't quite remember, but there's a lot of different versions of these, so these this is not like some super special card or anything, but we got a 9 on that one. Finally, a 10. It's the first 10 of the video. 96 Bowman's best base card with a 10. Pretty cool. PSA 10 on the 96 Bowman's best. First one we've shown here. Oh, how about that? Right behind it, we got another one. Another 10 on the same card. 96 Bowman's best 10. It's hard for me to sell Jordans, even in 10s. If I have doubles... I'm still keeping them, obviously. This is my PC box. This is not my for sale box. So don't be asking if any of these are available. Because they're not. This one's off center. But again, I usually keep this card. I have a bunch of them. That one you might be able to talk me into. Uh, one of the grades that I have available. But I think I probably already have the one that I'm moving on my eBay store. This one's pretty off center. Uh, left to right. Um, but it's a tough card, man. Tough set. The entire set's tough. Look at the Alex English. I think there's, there's either zero or one. I think 10s on the Alex English. It sells for like a gazillion. Uh, unless there's been more. I haven't looked it up for a while. But yeah, that's there's that's just a tough, tough, tough set right there. Uh, got a bunch of these. We showed, I think, uh, 7, 8, and 9 on the first video. Here's another 8. I'm trying to check out this uh, focus. So I think I still got it where I want it. I changed the settings the other day. It looks pretty good. 1988 Fleer. On the uh, third year Jordan 8. This is a die cut from 94 SP Championship. Die cut 8. Eight. 89 hoops with a 9. 89 hoops card number 200 with a 9. Ninety three Skybox Premium. 8.5 on that one. 95 tops called spark plugs it's kind of a silver insert sp2 it's only got an eight it's tough on uh, corners and surface with this the way this one was made so i'm sure that it's probably some sort of surface issues on that one but we got an eight on that just a regular goodwin champions uh goodwin champions uh gaudi card here from 2019 just some newer stuff every once in a while. You got to send some of the newer Jordans in to have with the collection. He's got the uh, golf hat going there and the sunglasses. G23, got a 9 on that one. This is Shining Moments. Shining Moments got a 9. That's from 96 Stadium Club. Uh, Shining Moments insert. Got a 9 on that one. Pretty cool card here. This is the Big Shots from 97 Ultra Big Shots insert. Got an 8. 
on that one. Eight on the big shots insert. Regular base card here from 97 Finest with an eight. 97 Finest, got an eight. Also with an eight is the center stage insert from Skybox Premium 1993. An eight on the center stage insert from Skybox. Die cut card here from 95 SP All Stars. I got a nine on that one. 1995 SP, that's the All-Star insert with a 9. This one here is the 5th Anniversary Parallel from 93 Hoops. 93 Hoops, 5th Anniversary Parallel with a 9. Got a base card here, card number 21 this time in 95 Hoops. That is only an 8 on that base card there. My man Shaq trying to guard Jordan for some crazy reason. You don't see that too often. Another eight on a dunking card here. 95 upper deck. It is card number 23 again. And an eight on that one. I guess everyone else has already analyzed who's all in the background here. Uh, have We've seen over the years that people that take the time to uh, figure out uh, some celebrity in the background of a picture on a card. So... Never heard about anybody being on that one. We got 91 Fleer on the base card. It's a tough one to get a 10 in. I sent a bunch in recently because they sell pretty good. Uh, and you know, they're worth decent because they're tough to get. That blue border, I guess, and just the way these were cut and stuff. It's a 9 on that base card, Jordan. Silver Spotlight. I got a lot of Jordan graded cards. Silver Spotlight from 95 Metal. Seven and a half on that one. That's not too good. It's a tough card with the surface, but uh, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah, the corners are kind of white and the sides are white. Okay, the whole back is a little bit white on there, so that's the reason for that. And then we have the regular card there that is not the Silver Spotlight. Same card, same same uh, brand there, but this that the Silver Spotlight is the parallel to this one, which is the base card 95 Metal. we got an eight on that one. I love this card. He's wearing number 45. This was a uh, pretty cool set from 94 Emotion. Wasn't uh, a brand that stuck around very long, but a cool card because he's wearing number 45. I do hate that it's sideways, but still uh, says Air Jordan down there, Emotion, and it is a 9 on card number 100 from that set. Parallel here, it's a gold card. 92 Tops Gold got a 9. That is the base card. He does have multiple cards in that set. That is the base card with all the Blazers looking up at him as he's laying it up in there. A nine on the gold Jordan. Another one where he's wearing number 45, 94 Flair. He also had number 45 on in that one. Card number 326 got a nine. I remember that set as well pretty good because uh, Flair wasn't around very long either. And they had those thick, you know, thick box type cello packs and all that. I think I have a Garnett rookie on like the front of a pack that I never open. Um, need to get it slab by PSA as well. This is a cool card here. This is the uh, Dynamic Dunks 93 Skybox Premium. Dynamic Dunks insert with an 8 on that one. Lots of Jordans. This is the Scouting Report. I think we had one of these the other night. This is a 9 on the 94 Action Pack. Jordan Scouting Report 9. This one does have the coating on it. Um, I'm usually inclined to peel those off. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not off on that one, but that is a 97 Finest. That is the Uncommon Silver version there. Card number 287 with coating. Got a 9. Here we have 2006 Fleer EX. These were around for a little while. I like these EX cards, especially the Kobe rookie year. My goodness, those things are through the roof. With the credential inserts and everything, that stuff's popular, man. Card number four here, got an eight. Tough card. Um, gets scratched real easy. Printer line scratches. Just happy to have one in a slab graded here with this collection. Uh, hardwood Leader. I just sold a bunch of these raw. I have a bunch more. Um, so this one was pretty nice to get a nine. 96 Fleer. Card number one, two, three on that one with a nine. Base card from the same set, the Kobe rookie year. 
Nine on the base, Jordan from 96 Fleer. 93 Fleer NBA Superstars. We got a 10 ball on that one. 10 on the NBA Superstars insert. Card number seven from 93 Fleer. We got a 10. This one has a price tag on it. Don't ever mind the price tags. They were from at some point. It could have been a week ago or 10 years ago. Who knows? 96 Upper Deck 3, UD3 Jordan. Card number 23 again. Got a 9 on that die cut. All of you. This is a cool card. Wish it was the refractor version. 96 Tops Holding Court with coating. Got a 9 on that one. Cool card there. Um, pennies in that set also. I'm almost done, bud. This is even better. I love this thing here, but it's off center, which is why it's a 9 and not a 10. 96 Finest with coating. Gold. 9. That is a cool card right there on the gold. That is the rare on the back rare. Pretty awesome card there. Wish that was the refractor. That'd be big. Speaking of refractors, though, uh, this one's pretty awesome. It is an atomic refractor. And it has Jerry Stackhouse on the back. Atomic refractor on both sides. Jordan on the front and Stackhouse on the back. It is an 8 from 96 Stadium Club Class Axe. Really cool card there. 92 Tops Archives with a 9 on the base card. 92 Tops Archives throwback. 9. This is a No Boundaries card from <clears throat> 95 Skybox EXL. Card number 1, No Boundaries insert. Got a 9. Some of these are in team bags as well. This is uh, 98 Tops Chrome back-to-back. -back. Gem Mint 10 on that one. 10 on the back-to-back -back from 98 Tops Chrome. Here's another 10 here. Greater Heights, 98, um, sorry, 96 Upper Deck Jordan Greater Heights Collection. 10 on that one. Oh, here's the one we just showed earlier in a 9, so I guess we can possibly sell the 9. And we had one the other day, so here's a 10 to keep. 94 Action Pack Scouting Report, 10 for the baseball there instead of the basketball one. That's for the White Sox. This is a really cool 10 here. I like this card here from 97 Hoops Frequent Flyers Club. I remember when I sent that one in. It wasn't eh, maybe a year or two ago. Pretty cool card there. Got a 10 on the Frequent Flyers. Hoops Airlines. Pretty nice card there. All the 10s look like not all of them, but a lot of them are in team bags here. 96 Fleer Metal 10. Base card from 96 Fleer Metal with a 10. And another 10 here. 98 Tops Chrome Champion Spirit. Champion Spirit from 98 Tops Chrome. Got a 10. And there is an 8. Look at that price tag. That's got to be way wrong. I don't know what they're selling for now, but that's a good thing I didn't sell that when I had that on it. Ah, it's probably, I don't even know what they're worth now. Got an 8 though on that Fleer sticker. You saw a 7 earlier. There is an 8 from 88 Fleer sticker. I got some uh, BGS here as well, and this is another one of my favorites because it's got both of my guys on it. Penny Hardaway and Michael Jordan on this one. Michael Jordan and Anthony Hardaway on a titanium die cut, and it's a Gem Mint 9.5. Awesome card there. This is BGS 9.5 with 3.95 subs. That is from 9798 Metal Universe. You won't see that one too often in a Gem Mint condition on that one. Got about 10 more here, maybe. <clears throat> 98 Upper Deck Ionix Skyonix. And just an 8 on that one. Here's another 10 for you guys from 93 Ultra. Base card, Gem Mint 10. Got a 10 on that one from 93 Ultra card number 30. Here's another 10. Lots of 10s. They must all be on this side over here. 98 Tops Gold Label. Gold label with a 10 from 98. 
And another 10. This is the USA Olympic team card. Obviously, that's a cool card with the whole history of the Dream Team. That is 92 Skybox Olympic team. Card number USA 11. Got a 10. We got another Beckett graded one here. This is a thick one. VGS 95 on the 2013 Upper Deck All Time Greats Gold. It's numbered to 50. Numbered to 50 on that one. North Carolina uniform. 9-5 with two tens on the subs. Pretty nice one there. Another cool one here from Beckett. This is 96-97 Top Seasons Best. Michael Jordan and Fuego. Insert. Gem Mint 9-5. With a 10 on centering. From 96-97 Tops Chrome. That's Kobe's rookie year with the season's best insert. Got a nine on the sticky fingers. Sticky fingers insert with the nine. Nine five on two subs on that also. Corners and edges. We've had one of these today, I think, and uh, about three of them the other day. So I got at least five of these that I can recall. Got an eight on this one. Third year Jordan, 88 Fleer card number 17. Got an eight. Pretty cool here. We got a nine five on a baseball one from 94 SP Hollow Views Blue. That's the Hall of Views Blue, and it is a 9.5 Gem Mint with three subs at 9.5. This is a Qualifier of OC, which is not fantastic, but a second year Jordan Air. Big card, 87 Fleer. Uh, I don't know that they would put an OC on that if they graded it today. That's an old slab. They might just put an 8 on it overall. Sometimes could be a 7, but highly doubtful. That card looks pretty good. Other than the center, there's a little yellowing on the back, but 9OC, Jordan's second year, 87 Fleer. This is one we just showed in the uh, BGS 9.5. There is a 9 there from 94 SP Hollowview Blue, PSA 9. And the last one I have in the box has an old sticker on it of 12 bucks. It's one of the ones we showed earlier. I think we had a 9. This one is a Beckett 8.5 from Emotion. And that will do it. Thanks, guys. I hope you liked it. Make sure you hit the like on the video and uh, leave any comments if you want. And I'm going to probably do a Penny Hardaway video and maybe some other stuff. But now i got two Jordan videos for you guys to check out. This is probably 90 cards and 75 and the other one, almost upwards of 175 to 200 cards here on Jordan graded. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.